Hi there, this is a short video to show you something that it seems like it's so complicated for people to write about online. What I'm trying to do is take references, take a bibliography from a Word document and insert it into Zotero. So why would you want to do this? Well, number one, if you're working on a project with a bunch of colleagues and someone else has inserted all the citations, um, but you don't have them in Zotero rather than retyping them or refinding them. Yeah, that's a word refinding. Um, you can actually extract the bibliography and import it and voila, it's done. Um, in my case, my Zotero library was getting completely bloated because I was doing some systematic reviews and counting some things and I ended up with 10,000 references in my cannabis category, which was way too many to be useful. So I basically deleted almost all of them and, and started again, at least the, uh, the academic ones, and started again. So I've got a white paper that has 95 references in it and, and I want to take those 95 references and put them back in here. So. What I'm going to do is I made a copy of my white paper just in case something bad happens. So you want to have a copy, you know, you never know. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is I've got Zotero open. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come and do a general web search for a reference extractor for Zotero. And if you type in those exact words, this is probably going to come up. I'm not sure if this is really a stable link or not. So I'm just going to leave this up here on the video um, so that you can find it rather than trying to give you a link that someone's going to complain that it doesn't work, right? So if you do reference extractor for Zotero, then you're going to open up this website. And when you open up this website, you're going to get inputs and results. And so this is a super duply wonderful free tool. I love free. Um, and what you do is you, um, it probably does a lot of fancy stuff. All I want to do right now is get those 95 references out of the white paper into my Zotero library. So I'm going to choose a file, choose in a file here and let's get the cat not playing with everything. And I'm going to come into um, my CBD hemp white paper bibliography. So this is the new document that I've saved. I'm going to click on open here. And then it's going to say I've got 95 references, 66 duplicates removed, which probably means um, uh, I've cited multiple times in the same document. Um, you want to tell it what your style is. And so I used AMA style for the paper um, and whatever it was that you used, uh, plug that in here. That's going to help it recognize things. Output format, this works per perfectly fine, CSL, JSON. So um, what I do next is I'm going to download this and I'll click on download and it's going to come up as ref extracts parentheses one because I already did this to make sure it worked before I made the video. So once I have that, I'm going to pop on over into Zotero. Here I am in my library. Then I'm going to select file, import, and this is going to take me to a file. That's what I'm going to import and I'm going to click on next. And this is going to take me into my downloads and here are both versions of the same thing. So I would click on this one here and click on open. I'm not going to do this now. Well, maybe I'll just see what they're taking into. Here we go. Copy files to the Zotero storage folder, link to the original location. Um, I want to place these into um, a new collection. So I already did this and I want to pop over here and show you that in my ref extracts, it takes a little bit. I don't want you to have to sit and wait for all of these to come in, but they come in with all the metadata. It's, it's beautiful. And then what I can do is I can take all of the ones here that I know from just looking at them and glancing at them. I can shift click this whole group and I can drop and drag them into, I got these from PubMed. And so I'm going to escape out of that. And then the rest of these I remember came from general web searches. So this helps me figure out where, oops, got the last one here, where I got the remaining ones from general web searches. So now I'm actually getting my whole library back. Um, it's not so bloated, so it's usable. And this is really easy. And so one, one other thought is if some gray haired professor asks you to manually take references from some dusty old manuscript and type them all into some citation manager. Now you have a way to do this in Zotero and you can do it really quickly and then just open your laptop and have, kind of, you know, have some coffee and, and hang out and act like a genius. So I hope this was helpful and I bid you happy researching.